Alamino, a good jump, look ready to go. The ring hasn't even been cleared. All right, total line. You, you see ready? the energy from both men Let's up to scratch. Up. The bell in round number one. The first of four straight BKFC title fights underway. Black and white trucks for the champion Luis Palomino. Black trucks for Tyler Goodjohn. And you can just tell the difference, in my opinion, in these fights from some of the earlier ones. Just nice, high, tight guards. Everything's so crisp and clean. You can tell these are some of the best in the world. Palomino with the feint. See the duck under the roll from Goodjohn. Two extremely technical fighters. Check left hook from Palomino, overhand right. Let's get through that striking guard. There's that high tight striking guard from Tyler Goodjohn. Exactly what he told us he's been focusing on and training for this world title fight. And left hook now from the champion Palomino. Left hook right back from Goodjohn. <laughs> 60 seconds remaining, round number one. There's the uppercut from the half tie plug. And and there's the thing that, that half -tie plug. There's the problem that Tyler Goodjohn hasn't been used to as much. A lot of those fights he's had have been over in England. You're not allowed to clinch like that. You're not allowed to punch. Put on the bridge of Goodjohn's nose. Uh, chanting in support of Luis Palomino, born in Peru. Longtime resident of Miami, Florida, off the jabs. Palomino extremely popular in South Florida in the fight community. There's the uppercut again, the half-tie club. John shakes his head as he pulls himself out. 15 seconds remaining in the opening round. Good step left jab. That took Palomino backwards off his striking line. Good John now walking forward from the center of the ring. Faint from Good John. The jab the right hand. Palomino fires back with the right hand. That is the end of the opening round. Championship. Round number two. Good John off the jab. Even with the right hand, left hand on the exit. Good right hand on the step in from Good John. See the continual movement from both men. Right hand just misses. Mina lands the right hand half time point once more. John trying to stay disciplined, Chris, with that high tight striking guard. You see the fluidity and movement in punches of Palomino will lose that right hand. And 15 remaining round number two. Palomino you know, to the clinch. Let's be a punch to the back of the head. There was the warning from Dan Mergliata. One warning. Buckle up. Palomino right back to the jab, then the two. John right to the body. Again and again, Chris, you see that half tie point. Man, that clinch is really giving Tyler good job some problems. Every time Palomino gets in that position, he's able to dictate the pace of where it goes. He pushes his head down, he lands good punches. And Palomino, a veteran of 43 pro MMA bouts. Good job coming to bare knuckle from professional boxing. No MMA or grappling experience. Just off the mark. There's the right hand, then the one. It was actually a 2 1 successfully thrown and landed by Palomino. Good left hook from Luis Palomino. And the left hand, overhand right. John continues to come forward. Palomino continuing to land, though. Lands on the inside. Final seconds, round number two. Next up, round three. Referee Dan Mergliotta, and we start round number three. Palomino throwing that left hook, moving backwards and forwards. Again, it's the fluidity of the champion, Luis Palomino. John off the jab. John staying very tight, very disciplined with his boxing. Definitely different for Tyler Goodjohn. Usually he has his hands down. He's put his face out there. He's moving. He's ducking. He's not doing anything. He's got a nice high guard. 
double left jab from Palomino again. You see snatching that half tie plum. There's the uppercut again with the right hand. Ready, clean, don't strike, don't strike, don't strike. Don't put your arm over his head like that, right? Ready, in that position, you can just see how how strong Palomino is. He's pushing Tyler Good down around. Jab once more from Palomino. Continual forward pressure from the Englishman, Tyler Goodjohn. Palomino pulling this back to the center of the ring. 50 seconds remaining round three. Snap, jab, lands from Palomino. Lead left hook lands from Palomino, the jab once more. Big right hand. You see Goodjohn pointing to his mouth, pointing to his chest, telling Palomino, come forward. Palomino obliges double jab. I mean, man, that, that's great, but he's getting hit a lot right now. He's the only one getting hit, so he, you can say it doesn't hurt you, but you're losing the fight. He's got to change it up a little bit. Huge swelling around, and especially under the left eye of Tyler Goodjohn, the blood smear as well. 15 seconds remaining in this third round. Right hand doesn't get through the striking guard of Palomino. Palomino resetting, shuffling his feet. On the left hand just before the bell. The only time around might not, but you're still losing the fight if you're not hitting your opponent. Tyler Goodjohn told us in our fighter meeting, if right, Palomino comes in and Buckle engages, up. I will absolutely win, but Palomino has been so slick, so smooth. He engages and then he's right back out. He's not standing in the pocket and trading. And, and that's different from what he's done in his past fights. So it looks like he's done his homework. He knows exactly how difficult of a fighter he's fighting right now, and, and he's doing a good job of avoiding the things that make Tyler Goodjohn such a great fighter. Jab again from Palomino. Overhand right, this is the mark from Goodjohn. But did Tyler Goodjohn continuing to come forward. Palomino now cut outside of his right eye. This is fourth bout in BKFC, and the first cut that Palomino has sustained. Left hand. I mean, definitely a different style of fight. Look, Palomino's on his bike, Palomino's move, which is kind of nice. It's showing just how complete of a fighter he is. He's not all offense. He's not coming straight forward. He's doing a great job of moving around and being elusive right now. Good John just wiped the smear of blood off of his face with his left hand. First cut to open on his face on the bridge of his nose midway through round number one. That cut continuing to leak blood. Five seconds to go round four. Check left hook from Palomino. But John remaining disciplined with that striking guard, staying tight with his boxing, coming forward, but Palomino absolutely not a stationary target in this bout, Chris. Yeah, like I said, very good job of moving around, staying on his bike, not being a stationary target, not giving Tyler good job much to punch him. But John again waving Palomino forward, and he lands the right hand. Naked without the jab. Final seconds, round number four. Both fighters cut. Looking for the spin. That's a push, that's a slip. We end round number four. We move to the fifth and final round. There's a spin around, a few combinations. He's got to know right now. First fighter off the scratch. Five underway. In the South Florida crowd, fully behind Luis Palomino. Headbutt, accidental headbutt, accidental. Dan Morgan just in, called accidental up, headbutt. Right? Ready? Knuckle up, Good knuckle John up. Ducking his head unintentionally into the pocket, landed on the mouth of Palomino. Good refereeing by Morgan keeping this fight flowing. Good left hand by Palomino in the pocket. Left to the body. Good job trying to go him into a, a straight up fight. That's his best chance if he can get inside. And, and both guys are throwing hard punches. He could land one. Chris, this is a really good technical performance by Tyler Goodjohn, and I believe that he is losing this fight. Oh, absolutely. I think Palomino is doing a masterful job right now. It's not that Tyler Goodjohn's doing bad, it's just that Palomino's doing great. Masterful indeed from the champion Luis Palomino. Elusive, in and out with his punches. 
Not just great defense, superior defense from Luis Palomino. Tyler Goodjohn wanted Luis Palomino to engage, come into the pocket, have a firefight. Palomino is instead implementing his plan A, which is what you're watching unfold. Like I said, big punches, volume, turns, angles. Very impressive, just so he is a complete fighter. He could do whatever he needs to do at the time. If the fight calls for being aggressive, he's aggressive. If it calls for being elusive, he's elusive. There's a right hand that lands from the Englishman, Tyler Goodjohn. Right hand doesn't get through. Snap right hand from Palomino, right back. Check left throw from Goodjohn. Both fighters turning up the temperature. Final seconds of this title fight. Check left hook lands from Palomino. Goodjohn continuing to come forward. A good head, head movement right there by Palomino. Slipping, ducking. Good job. Fighters talking. That is the end of the fight. Wow, look at it. For Luis Palomino. I mean, just. Tyler Goodjohn. Late. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the scheduled five championship rounds, here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. All three judges scored the fight 50-45 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision and still your undisputed police cassette 155 pound world champion and the undisputed BKFC World Lightweight Champion, Luis Baboon Bellamino. And with that dominant performance,